oh my god what is this we we just wanted to rate rate their uh what is it called drip is they still say drip now do the kids still say drip for like outfits is that a thing i don't know but the characters are really skibbity who's gonna cosplay any of these characters he looks like a geek it's like he almost has a bulge but doesn't For movies to video games, welcome to Marie Plays It All. Today's episode is relatively geeking, or my brother Rob and I geek out about anything and everything now. Right, Rob? Not just the good old days, but everything and everything. 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 And today, Rob has another video to show me that I have no idea what he's going to show me. He likes to do this. He likes to spring things on me, get my reaction. He's been doing this since we were children. And... Mm -hmm. uh yeah, you do it in nicer ways now. At least you're not tormenting me too much. Just wait. So, okay. So Rob, take it mm -hmm. away. You tell me. You you take you take it because you know what I don't know. So what are we doing? Oh, okay. So you uh, haven't been, I think, up on the crazy game news that's been happening recently. So as I think most people know, Sony was making a game called Concord. And it's been recently found out that Concord lost $400 million. Imagine making a game for eight years and you're Sony and you bought a developer to, you know, make this game eight years, $400. And like, question is, why was this so expensive? The end credits takes one hour to watch. Like the ending credits. That's how many you, people. That's are how many on, people. Like... There's hundreds, and many of those positions are like you know executive this, uh, producer that, exec this, cultural sensitivity this and that. Like all of these jobs, it's true that aren't necessary. Mm -hmm. So, one of the questions is why did Concord fail? When if you went on uh, online, you'd see that 300 people were playing the game. When it came oh, out, no. they grossed about a million in sales. Okay. For a $400 million game. And then when it collapsed, they refunded all the sales. So they it's a negative $400 million. It could even be more. So one of the questions is, well, why did it fail? And like, in all, like all things in life, there's multiple causes. And I think advertising was one of the causes, like it wasn't advertised very well. But one of the causes I think is that the character design was so horrific that it was revolting to look at and play. It's a hero shooter. It's like Overwatch. And you need to put yourself in the shoes of the heroes. You need to like kind of embody the hero. You love the heroes. You want to follow their storylines. Um, you you should fall in love with these characters, but the characters are so horrific. You can't, you know, relate to them. You can't love them. You can't like root for them. They're 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 repulsive, like actually repulsive. So yeah, they had bad advertising, ugly characters, and it's an Overwatch clone. I know you love Overwatch. We love Overwatch, and I really want to get your first impressions of the characters. You're it, this is gonna blow your mind. I. Uh, I've never I've never heard of this game. I'm way mm -hmm. way late with like yeah, like Rob said with the gaming news. I've never heard of this game. I have no idea it existed. I have no idea what the characters look like. So, what are we watching? What are we What are we What are we watching right now, Rob? Okay, so we're watching uh, Thor's take on the characters uh, from Pirate Software. Thor used to work at Blizzard. Anyway, Thor's a great okay. guy. He has great life advice. He's very objective. Uh, I just love his vibe. I love his voice. Mm, Thor's voice. Just, just wait, wait. Is it thunderous? Um, Does he have a thundering? Ooh, it's like voice? a. It's it's kind of like a low rumble, but more like, not gruff, but like smooth, like dark clouds yeah. on the horizon. Oh, okay. Backs, well, <laughs> backs, backs. Okay. Here we go. Here, here. We're going to the video. 
Because you have to understand, working in games takes a long time. You may not like the outcome. You may not like the designs or things like that. Doesn't mean it didn't take a long time. The product that came out of this, like what was produced, is not something that people enjoyed. And that's really what it comes down to. This, though, this ends up going really badly. And like, that's unfortunate. Because to be real with you, I can understand being in a position as a developer <laughs> being defensive. Especially when people are shitting on the thing that you worked on for eight years. I get it. But you can't say that. So the other thing that's really interesting is these these character designs are very... I would say they're, they're kind of like overly colorful, if that makes sense. So like yeah. the color clashes all over them kind of look like like weird skins. Yes. Like it, was that chick supposed to be like Farah? Was she supposed to be no, like no, no. Farah? Zarya. Zarya? It was yeah, like yeah, a Zarya yeah. Farah hybrid. And you I saw someone's it. comment about this looking like a Hellboy. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. The color clashes all over them kind of look like like weird skins. Yes, it, the colors are clashing, and I think that's the problem. This kind of a thing is kind of mm -hmm. neat. Weird character design. He's like some kind of a beast man. He's got some kind of like brainiac thing in his head. I'd like to know more about this. It's the head's it's too like, smooth. It's so overly colorful in the way that it's, it's like a butt or something. A butt. Um, I don't. I don't know. know. It is smooth on top, but to me, it's weird. Like. Um, <laughs> It's a weird color palette having that deep red with the teal with the purple. Yeah, I know. It's saying about the color palette. The red is throwing me off. Even if that was like a dark orange, I think it would look better with teal and purple. Oh, the red maybe. is kind of weird. Yeah, but the red's kind of throwing me off a little bit. It will it would look less hellboyish if it wasn't red. Why did they just render it like a like a like a burnt orange or like yeah. a, you know, something like that? That'd be that cool. I just it looks like one smooth butt cheek just hanging off his head. That's what it looks like to me. I don't know. Like it looks, it, it looks wrong. It looks too smooth. And he has some like random spikes on his back. Okay. And then he kind of has like gorilla. He's like gorilla ish. But... This is Winston plus Reinhardt or something. It's Winston. It's Winston. It's Winston for sure. But the thing is, is like, it's like has like a gorilla, um, like body, but like with a baboon butt head. I said that weird baboon baboon but baboon uh baboon and is his face and... too human yeah i mean hold on. move your cursor off him that's his cursor oh shit. mine's little mine's itty bitty compared to his i got cursor envy <laughs> I think it's really important to understand that when you are designing characters, color clashes like this can be really that appealing to people. Yeah, like visual that. clarity color. is super important. Visual clarity is super important. Visual design is super important because we can we can compare this to like Zarya. Zarya has like pretty defined colors and she also has a really colorful flair to her. But the difference is that Zarya's colorful flair is in one spot. It's just her hair. You have a very defined yeah. character. You have very muted colors. The colors are all kind of matching across the entire thing. And you have Zarya's one defined flair color. Zarya's defined flair colors all over the place. Yellow yeah. on what looks like a fuchsia on like lime green it's strong but it has it like really combines masculinity and femininity together those are not colors that work well together so it ends up looking like a and character custom the fact that they put that pinky on her her head is like yeah. a reference to zarya i know and uh I, I like what he said where it hit the color palette for her looks like it's a custom skin that someone like could make you know what i mean yeah and her expression isn't like heroic or like looking off into the distance and meeting an enemy or something it looks like it's like she's gonna go up and complain about her order from wendy's she's gonna yell she's gonna karen the heck out of you i want to look at the rest of the characters because i want to see what was going on with this some of these actually actually look kind of cool like this one totally fine color composition nope oh yes. go back to that go back to that one he says he's okay with the colors and it's kind of like Okay, but you went by that one pretty fast, Thor. <laughs> what? What? What is this? What is the powers like? Do they, okay, is that a jetpack? You know, this looks like a space janitor. Yeah. This looks like a space jet. Is this Roger Wilco's Roger Wilco? mom? Are you oh, that would be so cool. I would dig it. I think they're going for like an old school scuba diver, but that's a jetpack. Like it looks it like looks scuba gear. Okay, this is nothing like a person you want to play in a game. Exactly. That, that um is like a, a heroic like first person shooter type. You're on a team. I'm gonna pick the old janitor granny. At least Anna in Overwatch is like cool and she's badass looking. She's you know like yeah. she's old, but I know exactly. It's like I don't want to play some like Ellen DeGeneres with a cube on her head. Like 
And look, someone could say, oh, I'm being rude. Okay, fine. But people don't want to play that character. Let's just be real. It's the way no. the world works. Who would choose this? I don't I don't like anything about this at yeah, all. When it showed not... it, I was like, whoa, this is yeah, not a character. You, you were like, game. what? And look at that little pink flare on it. Like, why? Again, again with the pink flare. Like, just leave. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's see. Position. This character design. Is this another old woman? Is this it's like another old, old woman. woman watch? Like, how, why is there so many old women in this game? I'm sorry. I'm not well, trying to be like ageist, but I'm no. saying this is a this is a video game that you're playing to go like fight people and have this big heroic thing. And the, look how scrawny these arms are. This is like Anna, I guess, trying to be Anna. I think this character is overall okay. Yeah, but it's like it's Anna with the gun. Like Anna is mm -hmm. a sniper. Mm -hmm. It looks like Anna to me. I think that if there wasn't already an old lady, like this would be fine to ha have their like old, old person thing. It it's just, and this here, like this stance too. She looks like she's like, you're coming over for cookies. I got yeah. cookies baking in the oven. And then you flash this against this. That character design makes no <laughs> sense to me. That there she is again. <laughs> I don't like it. It's Zarya. It's Zarya, you're right, 100% Zarya. This doesn't look menacing. She's so round and bubbly. It, the, yeah. it and, and 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 pale and bright again. It was like pale, bright pastel. That's what I'm looking for. It's pastel, weird, random stripes that mean nothing. Like they don't serve a purpose. Like it's not That's like it's true. like a badge. It's not <laughs> like it's like her, a label or some sort of like, this is why I didn't like whatever space Marines, whatever she is. It's just a pink stripe that means nothing. Right. It's like, what's your rank? A stripe, like a <laughs> weird pink stripe, not like a pink cool stripe. combat stripe. Yeah. And it's on her forehead, like on her helmet and her shoulder. And then there's an, another one on the other shoulder that that's vertical. It's just the way she is. They're both the same way. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. You... This These designs look so cheap because nothing looks like, it doesn't look like it has a purpose and everything's so smooth. Like, and like, what's the thing on her chest? Is it light up? Maybe it like what are these buttons on the side? They're just random silver buttons. Um, this just it looks lazy to me. It looks lazy. There's no theme. No. And because there's no theme, there's no character, and yet it's a character. Mm. Yeah, but like, what are you? Where'd you come from? Like, what what's your backstory? Sometimes, sometimes the yes. the the co the costume or whatever <clears throat> the the skin tells us they're a little bit of their backstory. This looks like a skin that I would use on a character that like I, I earned and is like an, a disused skin color for it, but it's their primary look for the character. This one mm -hmm. looks pretty fine. The gun is strange and interesting. It's got like a stock on it. That's kind of cool. What do you think about this? My immediate reaction mm -hmm. is vampire. Oh. And why is the belt missing? The belt buckle is it... missing? The why is it like rosary beads, but not rosary beads? It looks like some other kind of beads that you'd uh, like some. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Those beads. The, like, I, it's it's these characters, like the good ones, like the ones that I think are kind of cool. I feel conflicted. Like, I don't know why. It's just in the back of my head, there's this weird conflict. Like, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, back and forth like that. No, th this is this to me is very boring. Um, the hair, yeah. the hair and the the hands and everything. The gun even a little bit reminds me of Sombra. Like it's kind of Sombra ish. The outfit is a little more Moira, I'd say. But then the 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 other designs like Sombra in a sense. But um, I'm like, okay, why does that gun have that big part to it? She again, it's so boring. Nothing has texture. What are those beads for? It just looks kind of drab. Like everything's really drab. Like they spent a lot of time on the faces, I guess, but then like the the skin looks yuck. Yeah, it's it's boring. It feel you know what it feels like. It feels half done. It yeah, it feels very half done. And like there's nothing on here. Like what what the belt should have like some cool runes or something on it. She looks like there's she's some yeah. sort of like kind of like a monk almost. Yeah, but that's why I was thinking like almost like a religious figure. If they made her a bit more like religious looking with a gun, that would be yeah. crazy. Like just go for it. Like have like a nun gunner. Well a nunner. A, a nunner. This is another one of like weird, another weird color composition. Okay. The only thing weird in this color composition for me is the red. I love teal and like purple and like teal and pink. Like that. I really like that together. But the red does it clashes with the magenta. Like that doesn't look right. 
the red, I had magenta hair. I had my hair dyed magenta and I couldn't wear red at all. I like, you, you can't, it doesn't, it doesn't go. There's certain colors you can't. So like learn. Yeah. I don't like that red. I don't like this character. Okay. I, why? I, Cause if you want that kind of like casual ripped punk look, like her jeans are ripped or cords or whatever they are and her shirt's ripped. It also looks dirty. Yeah. And she looks like she's got dirty clothes on. Like maybe she's a mechanic or something, but I, I don't like that ear. Yeah. It looks like it's not positioned properly or drawn correctly. It kind of swoops out strangely. Again, it kind of boring. What are you? I mean, in Overwatch, you kind of can tell what all the characters are. They represent something or they're from a different part of the, the world. Okay. That's a whole Overwatch thing. So they have something based on like whatever country they're from or something like that. But mm -hmm. like, this is just like, this is just like a weird elf punk chick, I guess, but that's not really punk. There's nothing on no. her. There's nothing else on her that's showing that she's like some cool, like, what is she? You're right. Is she a mechanic? Is she like, like a dirty grunge mechanic punk elf ish. And she, you know, honestly, she's not that cute. No, let's just be honest. You want to sell a game. You want people to play heroes. You mm -hmm. want to make the elf girl and you don't make the elf girl that cute. Mm hmm. Okay, you can do what you want. You can say, we'll make her look that way. Well, don't expect people to play her. Elf girls should always be cute. It's just the rules. You know, it's just the rules. I do you find that a lot of the character designs in this are unlikable for me. I think the reason why I find the character designs... Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's like, is that a safari hat and a fedora <laughs> and a, like, big brimmed hat all together like what kind of hat is that and why is there a bullet hole in it and he's got bullet look at those holes like the hole in the glove and the hole in the hat like these like symbols. is that a bullet hole in his hat no. okay i can't tell if they're bullet holes or just holes. and if it was a, if they were bullet holes what wouldn't i would like to see his jacket look a little more rough no and this is the thing too i feel like these people are all from the same place or the same planet, yes. even though they're trying to be diverse, there's no diversity in these outfits or anything like that. They're not no, diverse at all. It was like the same art designer. <laughs> well, what's this yeah. thing on his chest? Like, what is that? The way it's clipped on his chest looks so weird. It's going to open up and it looks like it looks like a toilet. Like it looks like a toilet <laughs> lid. <laughs> I poop through my heart. He, he, I, his pose can look kind of cool, like, but but not with that suit like it's like dude i love your face i love that jaw yeah the shades but then you can't pull off that look in that that outfit i don't like it at all it looks so boring it looks stupid and, and it doesn't match like why what is this hat with the, with this outfit this this outfit coat does not match this hat that jacket looks like it should be like on a starship like it's an officer on a starship or even like a futuristic doctor you know what all these characters remind me of? Mm. Starfield. Yep. It looks like was that Starfield. The, was that the name? Was that the name of the game that we hate? Starfield? Oh, my God. You don't remember. Star you hate it so much. You wipe Starfield from. Yeah, it's when I would go on about Starfield and how much Starfield sucks. Okay. That every single character reminds me of some sort of NPC that you'd see in Starfield. Yep. Holy, holy crap. I don't think it looks bland. I think it looks overly aggressive with its color usage. It's too much. It's just too bright. There's too many colors going on. Some of them could be interesting. Like if you look at this, this design of a character is quite neat. What is this character? Why do they have night vision goggles on? And if they're a robot, why do they need night vision goggles? They look so amateurish. Like they're not cool looking no. with the gizmos and gadgets. And they seem like they can move and shift and telescope out or anything or have. He's got headphones with like handcuffs with green lenses in them the goggles are cool the fact that it's like a, a robot right wearing a suit that would be awesome but orange and purple and more orange like beige and bright lime green it's just like that's too many colors to make it distinguish it becomes a mess the colors bother me yes color choices are not good but that's the least of the my concern. Like, look how boring this and like what and also what 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 is this? Is this a support character? Is this yeah. um a, a character who's like going to be like shield? Is this like a DPS character? Is this like what what is this character? You can't tell anything about these characters by looking at them. They should have it maybe 
showing one eye. Yeah, something cool. Because you get personality in the face and the look, but the eyes are covered unless those are just the eyes. But a robot in like a James Bond suit mm -hmm. with like a cool design and then those one wraparound sort of headset eye thing. Mm -hmm. And then the other eye like that you could see would be cooler, I think. Uh, the rolled up sleeves or short sleeves, a bit, bit weird. It looks like a Michael Scott pantsuit. This one, I think, color-wise, is kind of fine. I guess, no. you know what it feels like? The more that I look at these, do you know those, like, weird skins that you get for characters, like, when you first are playing, like, any type of shooter, like, team-based shooter? You get those weird characters that are, like, the skins are just sort of not right. And you're like, I'm never going to use that skin. You, like, earn it. And you're like, I'm never going to use that one. The, like, no. common skins. No, no. This, no, this looks like the creation from a grade 7 student. Like, you know, when you're like, oh, I'm going to make an alien creature, it looks thoughtless. Again, this is kind of like Moira-ish because it, it looks like it has two sides. But what is, what do they don't do anything? One's a spike side. One's a, a rock molten side, maybe? Is this like hot and cold? I don't know. I can't tell what's going on. Is this bone and what? Is it a mushroom? It's a bone mushroom. I mean, I keep wondering whether or not the headpiece is part of their body or they're wearing it yeah good question good question like i'm yeah. sure it's part yeah. of their body but it looks kind of like a like a like a dish on their head it's a decorative bowl a decorative that's what dish. it looks like yeah and then yeah like i just don't like the kind of spikes that like almost like skulls on one arm and then a pustule on the other Pustule. That's what looks like and a hardened pustule. And it looks ugly. Like it looks looks infected. It looks kind of gross, but without being scary, without being dangerous. The face is too ele like elegant with respect yeah. to the rest of the body. And then the gun doesn't look like it'd be this character. This character doesn't look like you would have a gun. Have it a looks gun. Like it'd be more. It'd be more powers. Like or powers or something kind of like a like a like a bow or spear or something. Primitive, more, something primitive like that. Yeah, more related to nature, like yeah, napkins, I think it'd be cool. weapons you can make out of nature. The the face would suit that green elf chick better. Yes, yes. Like this character is weird because the face is pretty. But yeah, yeah. I can't tell what it's supposed to be like. Is it bird like? Is it feline? What mm, is that face? Gray alien. And some of the models are kind of bland too. No. Okay, finally, we see like a dude, okay? We got a dude in the game, okay? We got, this is kind of like Soldier, I'm guessing. He's kind of like Soldier 76 with like the type of jacket. And he has the kind of like suave. Um, He's got a life jacket on. He's going to go I, fishing. He's going to go diving with the the girl with the, the diving suit on. This, this bulbous orange stuff. And, you know, typically if you made a character like this, you would highlight his abs. No, it's this smooth, like cute little hips he's got. Look at that cute waist he has. You know what, Rob? I was kind of thinking that too. Like, why is he so like his arms are almost the same size as his his waist? And he's got that like confident, sarcastic half smile, but his eyes look sad. He doesn't believe in himself. It's true. <laughs> yeah. He's just like kind of he's like, I'm not quite sure. I've seen a lot, <laughs> but I need affection and approval. Yeah, this is this. The, the, those I'm not go wrong. Together. No, you're not wrong. Those like, things look at go that. together. Kind of bland too. Like this one's bland. I guess the way that I would describe this game. Again, like I don't know who you are. I don't know what's happening behind your mask. I I, I don't care. I don't know what you are. And like I don't care about this. I, I mean, it's weirdly sensual, but disturbing. Is it because it's sensual because it looks all like one skin color, like almost like they're nude? I'm trying to figure out right yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, because it's like a glove suit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Like latex type. And that big red that draws your attention to that head. It's the helmet's huge. Uh, I guess they're breathing through a respirator. I kind of want to think that the red part of the mask is a cat. And like, were these all AI generated? Uh, like nope. I, I bet you they spent years on this. This is uh, Butthead. This is Butthead. He and, looks okay. even worse. It's the Winston Reinhardt. Okay, here we go. He has a he has a gun. 
but he's clearly beaten up in his hands like he you know so he fights right like i would think that he's a melee character since it looks like he fights and like he's ready to do that and and there's something on his belt that looks like it's mimicking like doves and a cross and a heart like it looks kind of religious yeah. almost right here this is like the first actual like symbol that i've seen I guess there's ammo here, uh, random highlighter color thrown on mm -hmm. for no reason. This red, it should be an orange or like a, a closer to skin yeah. color, but like deep orange, I would say. And how about we throw some blood on those knuckles? Like we have some sort of like wear and tear on these characters. There's no like wear and tear that doesn't look like they've been in battle. They're just strapped on their outfit. And it is like, weird to, to have a green thumb. It's like it's green because we need another color because we like colors. They look like something where I, I don't feel like I I identify with the character in a way because it, it, it's like circus colors for everything. It's just bright mashed colors that are not complimentary. In he anyway hates the colors. Characters. I think what yep. we're seeing here is a design philosophy where they are trying so hard to have a personality for the characters that they went overboard and they made it so the characters look cartoonish in terms of color composition. By trying to make them look too unique and stand out too much, it's gone into this realm where it's it's uncanny. No, man, I feel like I, they, I so. feel like they didn't they didn't think at all about the personality and the backstories. It doesn't seem like there's any personality in them and it doesn't seem like they took too much time. It seems like they didn't spend any time. I can't imagine like I'd love to see the various drafts of the characters. Yeah. Like the iterations of all the characters like here's a rough draft, here's another character concept and like how many character concept character concepts did they throw out oh my god how many iterations like all. how yeah it's like this was their first shot i need to make a really unique looking character it's really going to stand out all these different colors let's put it all in there let's make it like give it a whole bunch of details and it's like you use too many and it, it, they're not they're not complementary colors they're not colors that work well together they're very clashing it does stand out but not for the right reason Okay, so that was that video. That was the characters they showed us in that video. I want to see all the characters now and I want to complain about them. This is so fun. I would like okay. to see one where it's like, that one looks really cool. But we like we like that one guy's face, but we didn't like his hat or <laughs> the mix match of his. Okay, Rob sending me more pictures of the characters. Let's see. What is this? Yeah, yeah, I know. Isn't it ridiculous? It's Bastion. It is Bastion. It's Bastion with the little head. What? And then he has his glow. And then there's like a heart, like a fake little heart here. What's his face? Is it the lip or is it that purple dot on the top? I think the lip is at like a, a voice thing. And then there's the eye thing. To me, to me, it's what is his little like three prong finger thing doing? Yeah, that's scary. It's like he's What's a big ass thing with a little tiny finger. Like what? What are they for? They look yeah. like little squeegees. Yeah. They don't little look like squeegees. anything. It's like Gucci Goo. And there's that like metal bar for like a hook. He's like, you can hook things on here and I can go boom. This is what I'm talking about, where it's like there's no functionality. Like what I think I feel like they just design these characters and like, let's put this on here, let's put this on here. Combat trait, trash disp that can't be right. His combat trait is a trash dispenser. I don't know. This can't be right. Primary weapon is an industrial vacuum. Come on. No, this can't be. The friendliest janitor. So there is an actual janitor in this game. It's not the yeah. granny. Scroll to the top and see what the website says. Oh, my God. I this think is this a, is what they, it's serious. what they do. Oh, my God. It's serious. That can't be real. <laughs> it's primary weapon. Weapon is a CC 1090 industrial vacuum. He's a vacuum trash can. Oh, uh, okay. First of all, her name is Baz. I know. It's just like, it, it's just when you're like 12 and you're playing Dungeons and Dragons and you want a cool character name. It's like not jazz, but Baz. Because bad and jazz together makes yeah, Baz. Baz. The coats in this game. The coats are so ugly. So she has these throwing daggers. This doesn't look like she would have throwing daggers. You know who looks like they would have throwing daggers? The vampire looking chick in the other one. She should have throwing daggers. And this yeah. chick should have a gun. And why are her glasses so close together like that? Those glasses are so ugly. It's like Morpheus glasses. 
but like and then let's make it cool with like a gold triangle in the middle <laughs> i know i know just having that gold triangle doesn't do anything and, and it does makes her eyes look too small and too close together silly it's silly like it's just silliness it's goofy. yeah and it's the, so goofy the shoulders on these characters that just we don't know what to do with the shoulders so make them balloon Okay, no, but the thing is, this character to me looks like she should be like, like really agile and quick and throwing these things. You're not gonna, yeah. you can't do that with these big shoulders. No, they made Morpheus and Blade. Yes, <laughs> that's what it looks like. Yeah. Okay, so this character, oh my god, Rob. The problem is, I know a dude who looks just like that, like shockingly, and a puffy jacket again. Who would want to play that character? I don't imagine this character having this gun at all. And also what is on his chest and why is he, why is that there? What is the point of that? Did you see what this person's name is? Da. 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 I know. Da. And those look like dishwashing gloves. Okay. This is that woman. What's her name? Duchess. Duchess? Okay. What? Okay. So okay Duchess. Look how skinny. What's happening here? This wasn't designed by humans. This can't be. It looks like an AI generated where they get the limbs a bit, a bit off. Wrong. Well, also like right here, what is this like digging into her side right here? Like, what is this? What, what is this? That's a good point. What is that? I, yep. It's the AI screwed up. Look how bad this edge is. I don't even allow edges like that when I edit my thumbnails. Okay, Amari. Oh, it's even worse. Look at the bulbous gloves. There's like what? three dots on it. What is this? What is like, this for? What are these? And then what is this little cap like? Doesn't even look like it's supposed to be there. That looks no, wrong. it doesn't. It looks like it's not supposed to be there. Okay, this is Haym Haymar. That gun looks like a drone. That gun looks like a drone. Oh, Lennox. Oh, oh my God. God, Lennox. Look how insecure he is. Look at his face. It's like he almost has a bulge, but doesn't. It's like, do you got one or like what's going on there? Like, no, it's ambiguous. He has an ambiguous bulge. It's interesting. Like, it's like, what's the artist going for? A slight mound. It's <laughs> a modest peak. A, a little bit of a knoll. Roca, Roca. Okay. These names. I mean, Overwatch names are cliche, but at least you can accept them. Star, Star Child? Child? Star Child? What? They, oh, my gosh. Why did they do They did that on purpose? It's just like, oh, let's uh, subvert expectations. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. This guy is so... <laughs> he looks like a geek. He's got like a headset on. His little tiara, and again, something on the shoulders. There's got to be some bulbous thing on the shoulder for no reason. Would you imagine this guy coming at you? I'd be like, you're not going to hurt. Like, look, he's all like, eh. and then they added this chest piece on here, but then it hangs down here. So I know. Like he has a gut. Yeah, and I know. He has it's a like, gut hanging over his belt. Can't have abs. No, oh, oh, he just looks weak. This guy looks so weak. Veil. You know what this is? You know what this is? I was like, okay, this character is one I don't mind the most, but the backwards cap. I know. What do you that, do? The backwards cap with the ice cream cones on the head or whatever those are. What are What are those? you doing? What are you what are you what are you doing? Oh, is that a rip? Oh, that's cool. Okay, Rob, I found it. I found the AI. What's going Ooh, on with that? The fingers. What's going on with that? What's happening there? What is this? What the are middle finger is smaller? Yeah, they're bent. And that, that that don't look right. That's just that's just a weird way to put your hand. You know, her expression is more heroic than the others, though. I, like, I she kinda, looks like, fierce. Yeah, she's okay. But I just don't I don't like that backward tat. Those to me, if I saw them even in a game as a as NPCs, I'd be like, oh, oh yeah, this looks, this doesn't look right. Bulbous shoulders, like bulbous crap just thrown on the shoulders. Puffy winter coats. Then they had like trench coat things. Or life repetition. jackets. Or like life jackets. 
it, it reminds me of when you're like 14, you're like, I'm going to make this cool character. And you're just like, yeah, I'm going to have like this big thing on the, the gut. And then like a splash of color here holding a gun. And that's like, that's it with no, no, there's no principle unifying principle to a character. No. Oh. Like all the pieces of the character, the clothing, the expression and all that should tell a story that brings the parts of the character together. Mm -hmm. And the one that did that was a trash can. Yeah. Like it's, it's, it's a trash can that is trashy stuff. But the trash can was like, okay, you're telling a story here. N none of these and the characters look like they would be in a fight or in combat. That's like nothing true. looks like I'm staring at Daw right now. I'm staring at him. He's on my screen. And he's just, why does he have skiing goggles on? I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get any of these characters. Yeah. I don't get their backstory. I don't get where they're from. I don't get if they're all from the same planet, same country, same whatever. Yeah. Is, are they from the future? Are they from the past? Are they fighters or are they just random people? I don't understand anything about yeah. any of these characters by looking at them. And then yeah, if it's... you compare that to Overwatch, it's like Overwatch, you can tell the characters. Yeah, it's like, are they high tech, low tech? Which country, which era? The time's all messed up. Are they more mystical or more futuristic, like sci-fi? Are they more fantasy? Um, mm -hmm. Are they like urban? Mm -hmm. You know, it's funny. The game's called Concord. And there's no Concord between the parts of the characters or with each other. Mic drop. Oh, I'm serious. I'm serious. Um, I, think, I think the overall impression, like Thor said, was uncanny. No matter how you analyze it, you're still left with a feeling of unsettledness. Like these characters aren't bad. They're weird. Like it's not just that the characters are sloppy or they're not creative or they're goofy. They feel wrong. I am going to give it, I'm going to say AI did it because AI is, doesn't have a soul. And I found all these characters be absolutely soulless human beings. Come on. Did you make this? Did human beings make this? I don't know. Yeah. No, I think that scary thing is that they did. And apparently um, the rumor is that the company was filled with toxic positivity where like you weren't allowed to criticize for a variety of reasons some are political reasons but also i i've been in these environments yeah where you can't criticize criticize someone else's work that's like aggressive or it causes someone emotional pain so you gotta always be like yeah go girl or you can do it or it's no. a great job i think I, and i could see you know the programmers looking at that going oh god but they can't say anything I do think that the characters are one of the biggest reasons why the game didn't work because a hero shooter is about the heroes. Yeah. And those Backstory. characters just don't draw people. Yeah, some fine, well, fine. But the proof is that no one played it and it's the characters did not help. Well, there's nothing, there's no one like you can like, oh, I relate to this character or I'm attracted to this character or I find this character interesting. This character's cool. Like I I, I love D.Va because she has such a personality and she's this little cute gamer girl, this huge mech that is like almost like she cares about it and it cares about her. And mm -hmm. I was like, oh, I'm, I, I love playing video games too. I, I can see myself in D.Va. And now it's like I got like D.Va costume and it's like, I don't want any of these costumes. I'm not going to be doll for Halloween or cosplay. Who's going to cosplay any of these characters? You got to make characters for video games that people are going to want to cosplay. That should be like one of the number one things that you're trying to do. I'm not, I wouldn't be like, oh, cool. I'm going to cosplay friggin' what are their names even? Duchess. I'm going to be Duchess. That's what I'm going to do. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments. Are we totally wrong? Did any of these characters jump out at you and grab you? And you're like, wow, that looks okay. so cool. All right. Um, are any of them above five out of 10? I can say, you say no, but I mean, I, none. No, definitely not above six. Like, come on. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Let us know comments below.
You can find more of our content on our YouTube channel, Not A Strong Start. You can listen to us anywhere you listen to your podcast. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share, comment, and all that stuff. You can follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Not A Strong Start. You can follow me on Instagram at Marie Plays It All. Never stop playing and never, ever, ever, ever cosplay Play that characters. game. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Never call these characters. Never play this game. You won't because it's dead. No, man, they're they're Ohio. <laughs>